shear stress distribution in i section shear stress distribution in i section let this is flange thickness is 10 and web height is 100 and again this flange 10 and this is 45 10 and 45 moment of inertia of this i section is c it is neutral axis is at center neutral axis so moment of inertia i equal to 100 into 120 cube minus 90 into 100 cube by 12 that is 100 into 120 cube minus 90 into 100 cube divided by 12 6.9 into 1046 millimeter to the power of 4 all dimensions are in mm now we know the shear stress distribution at top and bottom it is 0 distribution is like this it keep on increasing parabolically like this it increases parabolically like this then suddenly it increases like this and again it goes parabolically is like this so maximum will be at a neutral axis so let us take this value this value tau 1 this total value is tau 2 and central value is tau max so tau 1 means hash this area so q equal to now q1 equal to 100 into 10 is the area and central distance is 55 that equal to 55,000 and tau 1 equal to vq by ab 
that is V Q 55,000 by I 6.9 into 10 power 6 into B in web it is sorry in flange it is flange width is 100 mm that equal to 55,000 divided by 6.9 into 10 power 6 into 100 minutes and for 8 which is equal to 7.97 7.97 into 10 power minus 5 10 power minus 5 V units V is in Newton's means it is Newton per mm square stress is Newton per mm square and tau 2 equal to V into same area 55,000 by 6.9 into 10 power 6 into width is 10 only in web that is equal to 7.97 into 10 power minus 4 V that is tau 2. And tau max equal to to find tau max we need q q max q max will be at this area also we need to take now this area that means that means 100 into 10 into 55 plus 10 into 50 into 25 that equal to 55,000 plus 500 into 25, 67,500. 67, so, tau max equal to V into 67,500 by 6.9 into 10 power 6 into B is 10. That equal to 67,500 divided by 6.9 into 10 power 7 that is 9.78 into 10 power minus 4 V so like that you can find shear stress at any location in I section